Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the 25th anniversary comic two pack featuring Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. This is the Silent Interlude comic pack. Um, very cool looking. This particular one I have uh, is showing a little bit of yellowing on the packaging here. You can kind of see it's a little bit uh, a little murky but that shouldn't affect the figures too much but just be aware that these things do have a tendency to yellow a little bit if they're left out at all in sunlight so be aware of that uh very cool looking packaging here i know these videos tend to run a little long sometimes so i'm actually going to try this time to go through it a little quicker uh, we'll see how well that works, but uh, let's try it and see. Anyways, very cool looking packaging. You see the two figures. Cool call-out art. Awesome comic there. It also has the exclusive mail-in offer for Operation Rescue Duck. Uh, the side shows us the cool G.I. Joe Ninja, Cobra Ninja. Uh, UPC code for anybody that's interested in that kind of thing. And then flipping it over to the back, we've got the actual information here. Um, again, it shows the silent interlude issue number 21. So this is a tribute cover here, showing the original here. And then a couple of the other figure, two packs that you could get, Operation Lady Doomsday and The Commander Escapes, plus the really cool call out for Operation Rescue Dock. <clears throat> All that said, let's go ahead and get this thing open so we can go ahead and look at the figures. Uh, so we have had, a f well, I guess we've had quite a few uh, Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes figures in total throughout the uh, G.I. Joe 25th anniversary run. Uh, so these are not anything really new. We've got a little bit new deco for uh, Snake Eyes, I can tell for sure. I'm not sure what the differences are for Storm Shadow, so we'll find that out here in a moment here. Pop this thing off, grab the little pull-out thing, slide the comic tray out, and then pull the comic book out. And then we've got our little insert here as well. So, very cool. We'll toss the package into the side. It is very cool, though. Nice uh, stars for the Joe side and the little cobra symbols down here for the cobras. So that, that is cool. But uh, let's start by just flipping through the comic itself. Uh, again, it's the uh, tribute issue. So it's um, got a new cover here. The back side has a very nice, we want you flint. So you can sign up for the GI Joe club. Uh, flipping through this real quick, we give a synopsis of what happened so far. And then uh, this is the, the issue that has basically no talking in it whatsoever. So if you've never actually read this comic, um, you should probably go check it out because it is very, very cool. Uh, the art inside of it is very good as well. A nice struggle between Scarlet and storm shadow and then snake eyes breaking in to try to rescue them cool cobra some red ninjas make an appearance and that is the end of the comic basically so but we get a very cool reveal here at the very end you can go read the comic <laughs> And then again, a very cool shot of the old snake eyes and the new snake eyes. So, very cool comic. Toss that to the side. Um, our insert, very cool looking, but not really that necessary. Um, I've often wondered if we could do something cool with a, uh, I don't know, something like a shadow box or something with these or poster frames or something. But I don't know. Let me know below if there's something special that you tend to do with those kind of things so uh before we get to the figures let's go ahead and open up this cool little insert package thing it's 
So we get our two file cards plus our mail-in Operation Rescue Doc Redemption Certificate. We also get a nice little sticker here for uh, the actual redemption itself. Collect six of these from specially marked packages. Mail it away, you can get Doc. <laughs> so, very cool, nice little letter from Cobra Commander saying he's uh, kidnapped Doc. So, <laughs> very nice, but uh, you can't redeem these anymore, so. You probably knew that, but. <laughs> All right, uh, figure stand, uh, figure cards, file cards. I'll get it right in a moment here. Uh, we've got one for Snake Eyes, one for Storm Shadow. The backs of these are that nice black glossy material. Let's see if I can hold this up and you can read through the uh, info if I can get it to uh, the light to show right there. Pause it, read through that if you like. Very cool. Here is the uh, Snake Eyes one. Again, very cool. On to the figures. Uh, looks like we don't have any tape this time, so that's cool. We'll pop out the figure stands first. And again, we will zoom in closer on all these things. And up at the top, you can see how that is uh, yellowed, that plastic there, so yeah. it is what it is. Uh, let's yank. Snake eyes out first, if we can. He's in here pretty good. This little knife is kind of stuck into a little holder there. There, <laughs> there we go. So there is snake eyes. Then we have Storm Shadow, which has uh, very similar things here where the uh, weapons are kind of half in, half out. So we're going to slide that over, pop his hand out, slide it back out. His uh, backpack here is also kind of half in, half out, so slide that out. Then the katana is basically the same way. Makes it kind of difficult in some of these situations, but uh, uh, let's do it this way, I guess. Pop the blade down, pop it out, and then pop it back out. There we go. There is a uh, storm shadow and our accessory bow for storm shadow, which is also weirdly attached, but there we go. Everything's out now. We'll toss that to the side. Zoom in real quick. So and readjust to level things up a little bit. That's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to turn this front light off a little bit or down because it will. Uh, so, Storm Shadow is obviously a white ninja, so it's going to blow him the color out on him. Uh, let's start with the two figure stands. Up first, we have uh, Snake Eyes, standard 25th anniversary. Figure stands here, the G.I. Joe Ray's logo. Um, we have a single foot peg on this one, which is uh, odd. Snake Eyes on the front, 2007 copyright, but cool. The Storm Shadow one with the raised Cobra logo and a single foot peg. Very nice. So which uh, figure do we want to start with? It's going to be Snake Eyes. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pull his weapons off here so he does have a knife here. He's got the rubber bands holding his knife there. He's got his little Uzi here on this hand and another rubber band. 
We also have a cool pouch that I'm going to take off of him. And he also has a pistol in its holster on his side. So we'll pull that out as well. And that's the accessories we get. So let's look at those individually. Uh, up first, we'll have the little pouch thing here. Very nice details on this thing. You can see all the little folds and textures in the clothing. Um, little rope things or something there molded into that, which is cool. Nice little buckle thing there, buckles. Really good job on the sculpting on this thing. Looks very awesome. We have a standard sidearm knife here, combat knife. Not a lot of details, but a little bit on the hilt itself. Uh, and as you see, it's a little bendy here, so uh, you may need to heat that up a little bit to get it to um, go back into its original shape. But he has a very cool holster on his side here. So you just take that little knife there and slide it in there. More or less locks into place and is good to go there. So that's very cool. I always love it when we have holsters and things like that for all these weapons. So very cool little sidearm knife. We have his little pistol here. I have no idea what uh, type of pistol this is. So you uh, weapons experts out there, drop a comment down below to let us know what that is. But some cool looking detail. Very nice. And again, that uh, slides into his holster on his web gear. Just like that. Fits in there very nicely, very easily. No muss, no fuss. Cool. And his last accessory is this cool looking Uzi. Again, some nice details here. Very cool. He just uh, has that in his hand. So uh, then the figure itself, let's go ahead and look at this. So up first, uh, it is based on his original release. So his, uh, I guess, more uh, commando version from the, uh, the original release, except it's done in this uh, very interesting kind of um, blue color. So again, this is the comic pack. So they are trying to emulate that comic look. And it, this, this blue color actually does a really good job of capturing that kind of thing. And again, a really bright green grenade there. As far as detail goes, he's got a really nice looking face. Uh, you can see the his goggles have that cool texture going around his head there. Got some awesome web gear here. You can see his little turtleneck thing. <laughs> cool pouches all the way around, really awesome detail every which way pouch on the side lots of cool things all around his web gear big pouch on the back that holster that we looked at earlier more pouches on the side very cool and interesting details sculpted into that clothing very cool and his uh, pants this one's a little loose here his leg but some cool interesting details I like the way they've done a lot of that. Kind of the standard issue boots here and that sheath for his knife. So very, very good looking figure here. Articulation, head spins 360 degrees. We have plenty of up and down, plenty of side to side. So very cool there. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Standard ball and swivel at the elbow joints. Uh, swivel only here at the wrist same thing for the other wrist uh, we have the standard uh, rib cage twist and ab crunch is not hindered by his web gear whatsoever so very cool I like that standard metal T hooks here at the waist and hips again this little leg here is a bit loose on mine uh, very loose but not a big deal Full front motion, about there, backward motion. Full side to side though, no issues whatsoever. Uh, we do get a double knee joint there. And that swivel and rocker at the ankle joint. So all in all, 
Uh, I am really impressed with this particular figure here. Um, I wasn't sure that I would really like this one in this blue color. Um, but to be honest, it's growing on me. It definitely makes the, uh, the details pop out a little bit more for this guy. I know the original figure, uh, all in black, it's kind of hard to see anything whatsoever. But uh, in this weird midnight blue color thing, it's uh, definitely more interesting. So, yeah, this is actually a really cool figure. Moving on, we'll go ahead and uh, grab here Storm Shadow and see what accessories he has. Uh, so he has the big long katana. He has a rubber band on that arm. We have the uh, short, I always get this wrong, uh, wa I want to call it a wasabi, but <laughs> I don't think that's right, but short sword. Another rubber band to deal with. And we have the really awesome backpack, which I'm not going to remove. Uh, well, I guess I could. Let's go ahead and... His backpack is actually kind of difficult to remove, simply the way his uh, shoulders are set. So if you pop the head off, it's a little bit easier. So let's do that and you can kind of work that a little bit easier ear is that a word pop that off like that put his head back on and let's take a look at oh uh he also has this hidden dagger here in his belt it is removable so we'll count that as an accessory as well uh, so let's take a look here. So we'll start with the backpack. It's pretty much the same uh, pack we have seen with all of the Storm Shadows. So, you know, nothing really new here. It is molded in this nice, um, it's kind of basically the same color as uh, Snake Eyes here. Uh, just a slightly lighter shade. It's definitely got that kind <clears> of <throat> midnight blue vibe, I guess I would say. Uh, I got a little paint slop right here on mine, but some really cool textures on the back. The Arashikagi symbol there on the center. Some really cool arrows in these nice bright yellow holsters or sheaths for both swords there. Again, nice detail on the actual belt that goes around his uh, chest. You can see the buckles, all the little points so that is a cool cool backpack uh we have the long sword the katana which again it's uh it needs some heat shaping done to get it to go back to the way it's supposed to be but very nice looking here it's uh pretty much the same one we get with almost every single storm shadow figure so uh you can look very closely and it's a uh, essentially supposed to be the Arashikagi clan symbol there on the blade. Very nice though. Silver blade slides into the backpack like so. Very, very nice. Very cool looking. Uh, the uh, small short sword is the same basic design, just shorter. Again, if you look real close there, you can see that Arashikagi clan symbol in the blade. And um, unfortunately, just a little bit of stress there on the plastic. So just be mindful of that also. Again, a little heat shrink. Where did the focus? Uh, a little bit of heat will help shape that the way you want it to be. And then it fits into his uh, backpack also very easily. Nicely done there. His last weapon for a uh, bladed weapon 
is this little short dagger thing that goes in his belt. It's a nice small detail there on the hilt. And that's about it. But it's very cool that it does fit into his belt right here. Just slides right in there. Looks very awesome. I always really like that. So that's cool. Uh, and then we also get his bow, which, sorry about that, uh, has very little detail, but some in the, uh, the grip there. Still very cool, though. You can fit it around his torso, his shoulder, whatever you want to do. So very easy to carry. Very nice, though. And now comes the hard part for us here, uh, and that is trying to get the light levels down enough so we can actually see something with this figure. Uh, so it is the same basic Storm Shadow figure that we have seen elsewhere, uh, but in a slightly different color scheme. Again, it's got that nice midnight blue for the belt, and basically that's the only color we got except for the cobra symbol there on the chest but very nice looking detail you can see the little folds in his mask just a really nice looking figure detail in his uh whatever that braided thing is going around the rest of his uh shirt there cool folds uh, cool leg wrappings, and you can see his uh, toed feet, that kind of ninja style. So it's uh, not got a lot of detail in it, but uh, again, the folds in his clothing are about it, and a little bit of musculature here, there, and abouts. So pretty nice. As far as the articulation goes, the head does spin 360 degrees. We have... Uh, just a little up and down motion, a little bit of side head tilt. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints. Standard ball and swivel at the elbow joints. Uh, swivel at the mid forearm. Same on this side. We get the cool chest twist. Lots of ab crunch. Standard uh, metal T-hooks there at the waist and hips. All the way out. All the way forward all the way back so not bad uh, we do get a double knee joint here and the swivel and rocker at the ankle so very cool looking um, as far as the uh, how this stacks up to other storm shadow figures um, it is basically the same storm shadow figure so uh, I guess it really just comes down to whether or not you like this comic blue color, I guess, would be the best way to put it. I'm going to yank his head back off again, try to get this on here. Uh, so for me, I'm actually liking the color scheme. Um, it definitely pairs well with snake eyes here. And if you don't already have a Storm Shadow figure, it's a it's a great, easy way to get him in his kind of basically classic look. So, yeah. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so this particular comic pack um, is one of the ones that's a little easier to find. Doesn't go for a very premium price at the moment. So, you know, it's, again, easy to find, easy to pick up. Uh, it's not really high in demand or anything like that. So you can get it fairly easily around the $30 mark as of this particular video. Who knows what it'll do next week, but yeah, so... For that price point, this is actually definitely a very interesting set. And again, it really does come down to whether or not you're okay with that comic color look to it. For me, again, the Snake Eyes figure definitely pops. 
Uh, the Storm Shadow figure doesn't look that much different. So um, I wouldn't pick it up just for Storm Shadow, but the combination of the Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes figure is definitely a win for me. So. That's all the time we've got, so thanks for watching, as always. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout for more awesome videos coming down the pipeline. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of this comic two-pack of the silent interlude, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see specifically in future episodes, let me know that. I'll see what I can do to track that down. And until next time, yo Joe.